I'm Craig Lent, a professor of electrical engineering at the University of Notre Dame. My colleagues on the paper were Wolfgang Porod and Gary Bernstein, also professors in the electrical engineering department. In the very early days of nanoscience, Rolf Landauer made the point that interference-based quantum devices were unlikely to be robust. In a talk at one of the early nanoscience conferences, he said that what was really required was a bistable saturating response. We were convinced by his argument and we were on the lookout for such a characteristic. While doing some calculations on the basics of Coulomb blockade theory, I realized that the two electron nonlinear response I was seeing there was just what was needed. It could be adapted to a quantum dot situation and become the basis of a new kind of device, the QCA cell. By placing cells near each other, one could construct useful circuits. So since the paper appeared, there's been a lot of interesting follow-on work, both by the Notre Dame group and others. QCA cells have been implemented with small metal islands, pattern semiconductor dots in gallium arsenide and in silicon, and also in nanomagnets. Robert Walco's group even made a QCA cell from individual dangling bonds on a silicon surface using a scanning tunneling microscope tip. The question of how to think about QCA circuit design and circuit architecture has produced a lot of interesting subsequent work by Peter Kogi and Mike Niemeyer at Notre Dame and many other groups around the world. I think we're just scratching the surface of how to reconceive computer architecture using this post-transistor device. My own work focused first on the metal dot devices because my colleagues Greg Snyder, Gary Bernstein, and Alexei Orloff were able to assemble several metal dot cells and create actual circuits. More recently, I've been working with several Notre Dame chemists on making QCA cells out of single molecules. That would be the ultimate limit in low power and high device density. In molecular QCA, single metal atoms form the quantum dots and tunneling between dots is through the molecular bonds. There's a lot of new chemistry to be worked out in the area of characterizing and controlling electron transfer to achieve the best performance in molecules. We're really only at the beginning of that too.